So it was actually harder for me to think of things that I wanted Natasha Denona to launch because in terms of her eyeshadow palettes, she really goes there with her color stories. And for that, I think we should applaud her. When it came to my Pat McGrath video that I did, I could think of a million things that I felt were missing from the Pat McGrath line and different color stories that she could have added to her palettes. With Natasha, it was different. Obviously, there are things she needs to improve in her line, but when it comes to the palettes, Natasha goes there with her color stories and she's not afraid. And that's what we asked brands to do. So kudos to Natasha. But nonetheless, I have come up with some things that I think Natasha Denona should launch or that I would like to see launch. Of course, I can't give the full picture. It would be up to Natasha Denona to really be the mastermind behind how the item would be created. I'm here just to put food for thought on the table here, as well as share your guys' ideas. Like I just said, I do have a Pamagraph version of this. So if you want to check that out, I will have the link down below. But let's start off first with what I want to see. The first thing has to do with her complexion line and I saw a lot of you in my poll also agreed with this. She needs to do an entire redo of her complexion line. Literally get rid of every single product. I don't like anything in her complexion line and I think it needs to be done on a mass scale just so that it can make marketing better. Because if Natasha Denona comes out with just a new foundation, it won't get the hype that it needs because nobody's paying attention to Natasha Denona's complexion line because it's not very good. It's all about her eyeshadow palette. So in order to get that attention for the marketing purposes, she needs to redo everything. And I think everything needs to be stepped up a bit in the packaging because I think her packaging for her complexion line is also a little bit cheap. So I'm thinking like something in glass clear bottles with white caps. Something really clean just like Natasha Denona likes it but very high quality feeling. So the entire line, foundation, concealer, primers, powders, all of that are going to be needed redone and maybe market them as kind of a system that they go with one another, maybe offer also a different type of look, like a lightweight, natural, clean beauty kind of look that's really popular and then a full coverage line as well. And also market that you can mix up each of the lines to get your happy medium. So that's what I'm thinking for her complexion line, but yes, she just needs to redo everything. <laughs> so here are my palette ideas. First of all, what I want to see more of are more 28 pan midi size palettes similar or the same size to that of the Metropolis palette. The price on that was amazing. The quality on that was amazing. I want that again in a different color story. Maybe something with like a stronger color story because I feel like Metropolis, it was kind of all over the place. That format we need more of and I know it will sell well. I was really disappointed that she didn't come out with a size like that this year. I would also love to see her 28 Pam palettes that are currently in the line reimagined. So she has the green brown palette and the purple blue palette and I love those. And by the way, those are her best formula that she's ever launched. Launch, I would love to see an updated version of it. I feel as a user in 2022 that the palette is definitely missing matte. It has those amazing shimmers, but there's so much that you can only put so much shimmer on the eyes and they'll start to kind of blend into each other and look the same. And I think to get the most versatile palette, it would behoove her to maybe add more purple blue matte shades and more green brown matte shades to really increase the versatility of the palette. So I'd love to see an updated version of those because those are pretty old. Those have been out for a while. This is not a palette, but it's just on my list. I want her to get a new lip gloss formulation. Now, this is just like personal, but I feel like her lip gloss formulation disappears in like two minutes. And also, I want new packaging. I actually have... Maybe I don't want new packaging. No, it's fine. But I feel like a lip gloss formula is something she could update because there's nothing that stands out in the market. But that's a personal preference. Nobody else said that. Next up, in terms of palettes again, I'm circling back. I have less mini launches, like the little five pans, and more midi launches, like the pastel <laughs> size palette. She's launched so many mini palettes back to back to back to back to back that we could chill. I want more midi palettes because that's my favorite format and I know it's a large majority of your favorite formats as well. So I think we could chill on the minis because she's done so many and I've had a lot of fun with them, but now I'm starting to get bored of them. I want more midis. But if she were to continue the mini palettes, and this is like a broad concept, I think she could do this for the big palettes, the midi palettes and the mini palettes, but I would love to see more monochromatic palettes just because I feel like her color stories can sometimes get a little 
all over the place. But I think especially in the mini format, a monochromatic purple, blue, rainbow would be a little bit easier for the consumer to envision. Natasha Denona has a vision, okay? She's a genius. She sees color stories so well. But I think for the consumer, coming out with more monochromatic palettes instead of palettes that have colors all over the place might be a little bit in more intuitive for the user. And I mean, she already came out with the palette with the name Purple Blue Palette. I think she could come out with the purple palette, the blue palette, and yeah. That's what I think. Next up, this was also highly requested by you guys, a Retro 2.0. Now, more so based on the mini palette that came out. When she came out with the Retro, though I do like it, yes, it was more mauve -y. I'd love to see gray, green, and pink toned palette in a midi size, preferably, but I do think a Retro 2.0 that is closely related to the mini would be great, and I know a lot of you said that as well. Greens, grays, and pinks, that's what we want. Next up, I would love to see an updated blush line from Natasha Denona. I'm not talking about the formulas. I love her blush formulas, but I think her blush line is a little all over the place. She's experimented a few times too many with different formulations, different style of packaging, and different kind of sizes. For It's just, it's a little chaotic, and I, when I think of Natasha Denona blush, I can't picture one thing, you know? We need to downsize a little bit, and kind of make the line more sleek and less options. First of all, the packaging needs to be a little less chunky, a little bit more sleek, and we need to pick the favorite formulas that everybody loves. Then we need to get into super sleek palettes and then super sleek individuals and stop there. Maybe have a cream version and a powder version, but keep everything in the same packaging, same style, same sizes. Maybe have a blush palette that you can customize with the individuals in a six pan. You know how she had like the six and the Daria palette. Love those. Would love to see that in a sleeker packaging that also corresponds with the individuals that you can pop in and out just like her midi palettes as well. How you can pop in and out so we can bring that packaging in into a blush and cheek size. I think that would be really great. And then in terms of color stories, like I said, Natasha does it all. But one thing that I do think is missing is like a deep jewel tone, lots of reflection, disco-y evening kind of palette. So I'm thinking lots of glimmer, formulations, glitter formulations in deep jewel tones with maybe a black base in there. I think that that would be really cool. And then also a pre-existing palette, the gold palette, which is no longer available. I would love to see a midi version of this that's inspired by this. I'm not sure of the color direction I would go with that, but I would leave that to Natasha. So those were all of my ideas. I wanna get into the ideas that you guys shared as well. So either these were mentioned a lot or I just thought they were really cool. So the first one was new cream blushes that aren't the puff paints. I hate those as well. So I think she should reformulate and get one solid cream formulation of blushes because again, she has come out with so many. Just knock one out, okay? Just pick a good one and stick with it. Cream bronzers as well. I don't believe we have a cream bronzer. Formula. Maybe we do. I don't know. Again, those her formulas are very chaotic and you don't know when and where they're coming out. But yeah, get a solid permanent cream bronzer formulation. I thought that this would be good because this is currently missing. So maybe it's on the way. A mini pastel and a mini trio chrome palette. We don't have those. So it would be interesting to see if she came out with those in the future because she is missing those from the line. Many of you guys said you want more greens. You want her to come out with more green colors. So again, if she came out with more monochromatic palettes, like I wish her to, greens would be one of those colors that we'd love to see. This was a color story that I am here for, a yellow, blue, green, yellow neon palette. Hello, I can totally see Natasha Denona coming out with a neon palette. She's not afraid to go there with colors, so I feel like this is totally already something she's considered or is considering making. This sounds perfect for Natasha. A midi camel. So if you don't know the camel palette, it is an amazing five pan neutral palette. I would imagine it would kind of be like the Biba palette, but a little bit more mustardy, but I'd love to see a midi palette inspired by the camel palette 
that would be great. And I know a lot of you guys would love it. The camel palette formulation is amazing. So yeah, that would be amazing. More grungy palettes, so something deeper. So I noticed a lot of you guys think that her range is missing deeper palettes. So I think a grungy palette would be good. And this is what somebody conceptualized and I think that this is amazing. A tropical night kind of vibe palette. So she has the tropic palette that came out that was a little bit brighter. A tropical night. How cool does that sound? I can't even envision the colors in there, but I just know that that palette sounds sexy, fun, and amazing. Would love to see a Tropical Nights palette. And then another concept that you guys came up with was kind of like a secret garden fairy vibes. And I think that could tie in kind of to the retro 2.0. She could name it like secret garden palette. So you'd have the grays, the greens, the pinks, pastel yellows, think fairy kind of vibes. Her glitter formulation would be there. Think daisy from the pastel palette, that kind of formulation. So yes, that sounds right up my alley. I love color stories like that. Like pastel, but not cotton candy pastel, you know? More greenish, cool, earthy toned. Yes, okay. Love that idea. Yeah, the last one I wrote down was greens, but I already talked about that. So you guys came up with some great ideas for what you would love to see from Natasha Denona. I'm excited to see what she comes out with in the future. I really hope she redoes her complexion line and puts a larger focus on her non eyeshadow palette products. Now I know her eyeshadow palettes are a huge deal. Why would she stop doing them if that's what we're going to buy? But she is overloading us a bit. You know, we could slow it down, make each launch a little bit more special and focus on the other aspects of the makeup line so that it becomes really a true whole makeup line, not just about the eyeshadow palettes. I think that would do her brand really well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you had fun with this. Let me know what brand you want me to cover next. I'm having a lot of fun kind of conceptualizing ideas and looking at what the brand already has and seeing what could also fit into this brand. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know your thoughts down below if you have any other ideas ideas, put them down. If you had a favorite idea that I spoke today, put it down there and I will catch you guys in the next one. You guys have a good one.